Hi, I'm Namita, co-founder of Sparky, your personal AI English learning buddy. Welcome to the series, Speak English with Sparky. In this series, I will talk to Sparky on different topics. Through these conversations, I will learn new words and practice my English skills. Today, I'm talking to Sparky about how rainbows are formed. Let's start the conversation. Hey, Rima. You can talk to me or ask me questions about any topic. What would you like to talk about today? Hi, Sparky. I have a science question. Can you talk to me about science? Of course, Rima. I'd love to talk about science with you. What specific science question do you have in mind? I wanted to know that how are rainbows formed? That's a great question, Rima. Rainbows are formed when sunlight passes through raindrops in the air. The sunlight bends or refracts as it enters the raindrop and then reflects off the inside surface of the drop. This causes the different colors of light to spread out and form a circle of colors in the sky. Isn't that fascinating? Would you like to know more about rainbows? Thank you for this information, Sparky. But can you tell me a little bit more about what is refract? I, I don't understand this word. Of course, Rima. When light passes through different materials, like water or glass, it changes direction. This change in direction is called refraction. It happens because light travels at different speeds in different materials. So when sunlight enters a raindrop and refracts, it splits into the colors of the rainbow. Isn't that cool? Let me know if you have any more questions. Thank you, this is helpful. And I I've always wondered that why is rainbow, uh, why are the colors in the rainbow arranged in a certain order? What is the logic for that? That's a great question, Rima. The colors in a rainbow are arranged in a specific order because of the way light is bent or refracted when it enters a raindrop. Each color of light bends at a slightly different angle, so they separate and form the beautiful arc of colors we see in a rainbow. It's like nature's own colorful magic show. Do you have any favorite colors from the rainbow? I like them all the way they appear together in the rainbow. But if I had to choose one, I really like the indigo color. That's wonderful, Rima. Indigo is a lovely color. Did you know that indigo is named after a plant called indigophora? People used to extract a deep blue dye from the plant, which is where the color gets its name. It's great that you appreciate all the colors in the rainbow too. 
What other things do you like that have indigo or other beautiful colors? Thank you for the information about indigo. That's really fascinating. Um, I really like the prints uh, that are there on these bed sheets. I don't, I'm forgetting the name of the art. Can you tell me the name of the art that uses indigo colors and it has beautiful floral patterns on it? Absolutely, Rima. The art form you're thinking of is called indigo block printing. It's a traditional art form from India where intricate floral patterns are hand printed onto fabric using indigo dye. It's a beautiful and unique way to create colorful designs on textiles. Do you enjoy art and crafts? What other types of art do you like? I don't usually enjoy art and craft so much, but uh, thank you for letting me know about the indigo dye and the name of the art. Where did it originate? I'm glad you found the information interesting, Rima. Indigo dye and indigo block printing originated in India. It has been practiced for centuries in different parts of the country, especially in states like Rajasthan and Gujarat. Isn't it fascinating to learn about the rich history of art forms? Is there any other art form or craft that catches your interest? No, Sparky, that's it for now. Thank you for the information. I really enjoyed our conversation. I came to ask one question and I got so much information about not just rainbow, but colors. I'm glad you enjoyed our conversation, Rima. It was a pleasure talking to you and sharing information about colors and art. Wow, I asked Paki one question and ended up learning about so much more. In our next video, I will take Sparky's help to cook something interesting. If you have any suggestions on what I should ask Sparky next, leave it in the comments below and I will include it in my conversation with Sparky. You can also talk to Sparky on different topics to practice your English and learn something new. Download the Sparky app using the link given below in description or use the QR code at the end of the video. Subscribe to our channel to speak English with Sparky and get fluent. See you same time next week. Take care. Bye.